Have you ever wondered how it might feel to always be the center of attention? To be constantly praised and admired, but with a dark twist? Today, we're diving deep into the complex world of narcissistic family dynamics, focusing specifically on the role of the golden child. This individual is often the favorite, lavished with praise, attention, and adoration, seemingly living a life of privilege and perfection. They are the shining beacon of the family, the one who can do no wrong, the epitome of success and accomplishment in the eyes of the narcissistic parent. However, this golden glow is not always as bright as it may seem. There's a complexity beneath the surface, a delicate balance of expectations and manipulation that can distort the reality of being the golden child. So, we ask, but what if this golden shine is just a facade hiding a darker reality? To understand the golden child, we first need to delve into the mind of a narcissist. Now, a narcissist isn't just someone who loves looking in the mirror. It's a complex, multifaceted psychological profile characterized by specific traits. One of the most prominent traits is a grandiose sense of self-importance. Narcissists often believe they are unique, special, and better than others. This sense of superiority, however, is not always rooted in reality. It's more of a self-created image, a facade they need to maintain at all costs. Another critical trait is the persistent need for admiration. A narcissist thrives on attention, praise, and admiration, almost like a plant needs sunlight to grow. This insatiable need often leads to manipulative behaviors as they continually seek validation and recognition from others. But how does this relate to the golden child? Well, in the narcissist's world, the golden child is like a prized possession. The narcissist projects their own need for admiration and control onto this child, grooming them to be an extension of their own self-image. The golden child is often expected to excel, to be the best in everything they do. They are the embodiment of the narcissist's dreams, aspirations, and unfulfilled ambitions. The narcissist, in turn, basks in the reflected glory of the golden child's achievements, seeing them as a testament to their own greatness. However, it's important to remember that this isn't about genuine love or concern for the child's well-being. It's about controlling the narrative, maintaining the illusion of perfection, and feeding the narcissist's ego. The golden child, in essence, becomes a tool, a means to an end. To the outside world, the narcissist and the golden child may appear to have a close, loving relationship. But behind closed doors, it's a different story. The golden child often faces immense pressure to live up to the narcissist's expectations and to constantly validate their inflated self-worth. For a narcissist, the golden child is a mirror, reflecting their own perceived greatness. Let's delve into a real-life example to better understand the experiences of a golden child. Imagine a young woman named Emily. Emily was the eldest of three siblings and the apple of her mother's eye. Her mother, a textbook narcissist, saw Emily as an extension of herself, a physical embodiment of her own perfection. From a young age, Emily was showered with praise and attention, often at the expense of her younger siblings. Emily was held to an impossibly high standard. Every achievement was expected, every failure was a personal affront to her mother. She was the star of her mother's show, the golden child, but she was also a prisoner to her mother's expectations. Emily's mother would often pit her against her siblings, creating a toxic environment filled with jealousy and resentment. Emily was the epitome of perfection in her mother's eyes, but this came with a heavy price. She was constantly under pressure to maintain this image of perfection. Every mistake was magnified, every shortcoming was a catastrophe. This constant pressure took a toll on Emily's mental health. She developed severe anxiety and struggled with feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Emily's story is not unique. Many golden children face similar pressures and challenges. They are often forced to suppress their own needs and desires to meet the expectations of their narcissistic parent. They may struggle with forming healthy relationships, as they are often used as pawns in their parents' manipulative games. Emily's experience also highlights the impact on the golden child's siblings. They are often neglected and belittled, forced to live in the shadow of the golden child. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem, further perpetuating the cycle of abuse. 
As we can see, being the golden child isn't as glamorous as it might initially appear. Behind the golden facade lies a world of pressure, manipulation, and emotional turmoil. The golden child is not a privileged position, but rather a gilded cage. Being the golden child comes with a hefty emotional price. This isn't a simple walk in the park, but rather an emotional roller coaster that can shake one's sense of self to the core. Imagine being placed on a pedestal, with every move you make scrutinized, every accomplishment celebrated, but not for your own merit, but for the reflection it casts on your narcissistic parent. This is the reality for the golden child, and it's a reality that carries profound psychological impacts. One of the most common feelings experienced by golden children is guilt. They often feel guilty for being the chosen one, the favorite, especially when they see their siblings being treated poorly. This guilt can be overwhelming, creating a heavy burden that they carry throughout their lives. Alongside guilt, there's an immense pressure. Remember, being the golden child isn't about who they are as individuals. It's about fitting into the perfect mold created by their narcissistic parent. This pressure to constantly meet unrealistic expectations can lead to anxiety, depression, and even suicidal thoughts. Then, there's identity confusion. When your worth is determined by someone else's perception, it's hard to understand who you are outside of that image. This can lead to a lifelong struggle with self-identity, with the golden child constantly questioning their worth and abilities. The long-term effects can be equally devastating. Golden children often struggle to form healthy relationships. They may find themselves drawn to narcissistic partners, mirroring the dynamic they experienced in their childhood. Or they may struggle with self-esteem issues, their distorted self-image making it difficult for them to believe they are deserving of love and respect. Moreover, the golden child is often left with a distorted self-image. They may see themselves as only valuable when they are perfect, leading to perfectionism, and an inability to accept their own faults and failures. In the end, the golden child is often left feeling trapped in a gilded cage, unable to truly be themselves. They are trapped in an image, an expectation, a role that wasn't of their choosing, and breaking free from that can be an arduous journey. So, how does it feel to be a narcissist's golden child? We've journeyed through the intricate dynamics of this fascinating yet challenging role. We've delved into the narcissist's perspective, seeing the world through their eyes and understanding their insatiable need for admiration and control. We've explored the concept of the golden child, the chosen one, bathed in the narcissist's approval and praise, yet also an extension of their ego and a tool for their manipulation. We've shared a case study, a real-life narrative that underscores the complexity of these relationships, bringing theory into tangible reality. Most importantly, we've discussed the emotional impact. The golden child might bask in the spotlight, but the shadows cast are often long and dark, filled with guilt, confusion, and a distorted self-image. Being a golden child may seem like a blessing on the surface, but beneath the golden glow lies a complex and often painful reality.